So how would you like to get a cool email timer just like you see here on your screen in your emails? What's up email and online marketers, DK here. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, do me a favor, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Also ring the bell and get notified anytime I post new content, which is literally every single day and week here on this channel. In this video, I'm gonna share with you how to simply and effectively add a countdown timer to your email marketing. And you're gonna be able to do this 100% for free. So watch this entire video, pay attention, and let's dive in. All right, guys, so in order to get an email timer in your emails, like you see here on screen, it's actually really simple and easy to do. And I'm gonna walk you through this step-by-step -step in this video. So pay attention, follow along, and let's dive in here. So all you gotta do is head on over to a site called centric.com. I'll leave a uh, link in the description in the show notes down below. So you can go grab that. This is 100% free to use uh, when you're starting out. Once you reach a certain viewpoint, and I can tell you from experience, it takes a lot of views, a lot of clicks, uh, and then you can always upgrade to the paid option. But I've been using the free option uh, for years and it works really, really well. So when you go to centric.com, uh, all you gotta do is scroll on down here. And obviously I already have a timer set up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna refresh and show you how to pop a timer into, or how to create the timer to go into your email. Now, before we go ahead and create this, and it's really simple and easy to do, you just gotta make sure these categories are filled out. It's important to know how you're gonna do this in your email autoresponder. So I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways, and I'm sure that whether you're using Aweber, GetResponse, ActiveCampaign, or Mailing Boss, whatever it is, your email uh, service provider, you're gonna be able to do this, okay? So I'm gonna give you a couple different examples, okay? In this one, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this in GetResponse, okay? So here, if you guys are you know, creating a newsletter or a campaign or whatever it is, simply when you go down and you go into the body of the email here, you can see it, I already have it built right in here. So what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove this box, okay? I'm gonna delete this out and then we're gonna start fresh. So what you're gonna do is wanna grab a custom HTML block and you're gonna wanna just pop that wherever you want it in the email. I typically like to have it at the top of the email, but you know, that's totally up to you how you want to do that, okay? So same sort of thing applies. I'm gonna come on over here to Mailing Boss and I'm gonna show you if we were gonna do this in a different email autoresponder uh, we'll just call this YouTube test. I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm just gonna pick a list here. We're gonna go boom. And I'll show you how to do this over in Mailing Boss. It's a little bit different and trickier over in Mailing Boss because uh, you gotta go grab the code. So either way, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a box like this, okay? I can actually use almost any box. You can use a text block, you can use really whatever you want over here. So I'm gonna just take a text block and I'm gonna slide that in, I didn't grab it. I'm gonna slide that in right at the top of the email, kind of like we were doing over in GetResponse and the same thing, instead of having text here, I'm actually gonna change this over to some code, okay? And it's pretty simple and pretty easy to do. So now we're gonna go over to Centric and we're gonna create the timer itself, really simple and easy to do. What you're gonna wanna do is just select an email address, you know, and then the time, when specifically do you want the timer to expire? So uh, at the time of this video, it is 10 o'clock in the morning or it's actually 9.30. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick, you know, noon time. We're gonna give somebody a couple of hours here. Select that. Now for me, Typically, when I send out an email, the background, as you can see, like if we go over here to Gmail, I'm not using dark mode. So this is something to think about. Typically, I think most people don't use dark mode, although some do, but most people don't use dark mode either on their devices or on their desktops. So typically the background of the email would be white. Now you can change the numbers here. You can change the numbers and the background to whatever colors you want. I typically keep it stupid simple, white background, black numbers okay so when you head on over to oh, wrong spot when you head on over to uh centric okay it's automatically going to give you a black background and white numbers so i kind of flip that around i just go black numbers 
and white background, just like that. And then you hit, you agree to the terms and you hit generate. Super simple. You don't have to, this is what's great about Centric too. You don't have to sign up for anything. Uh, you don't have to create like a username and whatever, remember passwords, all that stuff. Simple and easy right here on their main site. Now, you just copy this code. You could either click here and hit copy. You could select everything. Then you go back to your email autoresponder and then you just plop the code in and then boom, I hit back. So bam, there it is, just like that. We can send out a test email and you would see it appear just like this. Now, if I were to come over to say something like Mailing Boss, where in Mailing Boss, they don't have the HTML block in here. However, I actually learned this from their support. When you go over to the block itself, you guys will see this little, these code symbols right here. It says edit code. I know it might be a little tough to see if you zoom in, see where it says edit code. Okay, I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna delete everything that they have in there and I'm gonna paste in the code from Centric and I'm gonna hit confirm and then boom, just like that. You now have an email timer in your mailing boss link. Now or mailing boss email, sorry. So you can do this for any email autoresponder. I've done this with Aweber. I've done this with GetResponse. Obviously done this with ActiveCampaign and here mailing boss. So that is it, my friend. Super simple, easy to use. If you wanna go check out Centric for your email marketing needs, I can tell you from experience, it does work really, really well when you put together a well written email with a countdown timer on it and you send that out to your list with a great call to action and a great scarcity fomo fear of missing out when you do that you will increase your conversion so if you got value from this video right now do me a favor make sure that number one you're subscribed number two smash that noti uh, notification button uh, that bell icon so you get notified anytime i post new content and i can tell you i am going to be ramping up the content here on this channel just wait and see but most importantly right now go ahead and comment the word value if you got value from this video and make sure you subscribe and i will see you my friend on the next video get out there go crush it and i will see you soon